Imagine a shield, a protective barrier, that's been faithfully standing sentinel over us, persistently serving as our guardian angel, tirelessly safeguarding us from the relentless and merciless bombardment of potentially damaging solar radiation for countless eons. This shield, this protective layer, this celestial guardian we speak of, is not a figment of one's imagination. It is not born from some whimsical fantasy or a product of a fertile mind spinning tales to capture the imagination around a blazing campfire. Neither is it a mythical entity, a hero from an epic saga or legend drawn from the imaginative mind of a skilled bard. It is not a valiant protagonist in a grand narrative spun by ancient storytellers, recited to wide-eyed listeners around crackling campfires under star-studded skies. It is not a fabled warrior, a legendary figure immortalized in song and story, conjured up by an inspired poet to regale an audience with stories of courage and valor. This shield is a factual, palpable, and irrevocably essential part of our existence. It is an undeniable reality, a tangible protective cover, a vital constituent of our world, our planet's cherished, treasured, and highly valued ozone layer. This blanket of gases, this ethereal mantle that envelops our home planet with a tender, loving embrace is not an impervious, invincible armor, an unbreakable bulwark against the relentless onslaught of harmful radiation. The ozone layer, an atmospheric stratum enveloping our home planet is not an impervious, invincible shield. It is not a magical barrier, a fortress in the sky an invincible armor that can withstand any amount of punishment. It is, in reality, a vulnerable entity, susceptible to assault and erosion. It's a fragile shield, sensitive to the slightest changes in its environment, susceptible to assault by various human-induced, chemically-laden weapons over an extended period of time, spanning across many decades, even centuries, human activities, deliberate or unintentional, have inadvertently waged a silent war on this protective layer. Our relentless pursuit of progress, the ceaseless drive for technological advancements, our insatiable craving for increasingly convenient lifestyles have all contributed to an insidious, steady erosion of this protective barrier. Countless factors have played a part in this gradual erosion, but chief among the culprits are chemicals known as chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs for short or CFCs for short. Once hailed as marvels of modern science, miracles of human ingenuity, common ingredients in a host of everyday products from refrigeration devices to air conditioning units, from aerosol sprays to foam blowing agents, these chemicals found extensive use in a range of applications for a significant part of the last century. They were silent, invisible assassins, seemingly innocuous in their dormant state, lying in wait, hidden, within numerous products that we use daily. But when released into the atmosphere, these seemingly harmless chemicals revealed their true destructive nature. Like silent assassins lurking in the shadows, they revealed their true lethal nature when they were released into the atmosphere. CFCs are not your run-of-the-mill pollutants. They are not mere specks of dust or ash that can be easily swept away by the winds. They are not transient, ephemeral entities that can dissipate or degrade under the warmth of the sun. Instead, they exhibit a tenacity akin to relentless invaders, able to remain in our atmosphere for years, even decades, incessantly gnawing away at the protective ozone layer. The impact of this continuous assault, this ceaseless chipping away at our protective shield, is far-reaching and catastrophic. The repercussions of this ongoing attrition, this relentless erosion, are global and unarguably disastrous. One of the most immediate and evident effects of this depletion is an alarming escalation in harmful ultraviolet UV radiation reaching the Earth's surface. This heightened exposure to UV radiation can lead to a significant increase in instances of skin cancer and cataracts among humans. But the repercussions of this erosion extend beyond the realm of human health, affecting nature and wildlife in ways we are only beginning to comprehend. Increased UV radiation can inflict substantial harm to agricultural crops, reducing their quality and posing a serious threat to global food security. 
it can upset the delicate balance of ecosystems, triggering a domino effect that can impact countless species and disrupt biodiversity. It can lead to the bleaching of coral reefs, the vibrant underwater forests that provide shelter and sustenance to a wealth of marine life. It can affect the reproductive cycle of phytoplankton, the primary producers in aquatic food chains, thereby upsetting the balance of life in the oceans. Intensified UV radiation can also lead to higher rates of skin cancer and cataracts in humans, a clear and immediate effect of ozone layer depletion. The repercussions of this erosion, however, are not confined to the realm of human health. They extend to nature and wildlife, affecting countless species in ways we are only beginning to understand. However, even within this seemingly grim and desolate scenario, there's a flicker of hope, a beacon of light piercing through the end of this long, dark tunnel. The Montreal Protocol, signed as the 20th century drew to a close in 1987, marked a significant turning point in our relationship with the ozone layer. It was a defining moment, a pivotal point in the annals of environmental protection, a testament to the shared power of global cooperation. Nations, big and small, developed and developing, pledged to terminate the production and use of these harmful chemicals. Recent reports, bolstered by years of relentless scientific research, suggest that these joint efforts are beginning to have a positive effect, with promising indications that the ozone layer is gradually repairing itself. The wounds caused by years of neglect and abuse are beginning to heal. However, this victory shouldn't lead to complacency. The struggle is far from over. The fight against ozone depletion, not unlike the battle against climate change, requires vigilance, unwavering commitment and proactive action. Every action matters immensely. Every choice we make, every product we buy, every habit we change can make a significant difference. It is our shared obligation to ensure a healthy planet for generations yet to come. It is a duty that falls on the shoulders of each one of us. On their own, our individual actions may seem insignificant in the grand scheme of things, but collectively, they can bring about an immense wave of change. Let's not forget every single action counts. Be a part of the solution, not the pollution.